What's up guys, welcome back. In the last video, we used Spring Boot's default settings and used the auto-generated password in the console. Then we customized our username and password in the properties file to make it a little easier. As you can imagine though, this is not very useful in real life. So today, we will take another baby step forward. We will build our user credentials in memory. First, we will have to create a security configuration class and annotate it with at configuration. And then we will build out a user detail service. This allows us to build the usernames and passwords and a lot more. We'll cover the a lot more in a later video. And we will also need a password encoder and we will use bcrypt password encoder. This sounds complicated, but really it's just going to be a single method call. Quick warning, when we build this in memory, this will override the properties file. So username and password that we set to test will no longer work. Only the users defined in the user detail services will work now. Okay, let's get started. Let's create a new folder. I'm going to call it security. And then inside the folder, create a new class called security configuration. We're going to annotate it with at configuration. Then we will inject a bean. So use the at bean annotation. Public, it is going to return a user detail service. We'll call it user detail service. And we're going to say user details admin is equal to user dot with username. We'll just say admin for simplicity's sake and password. And just keep it simple with a password of one. We will then return a new in memory user details manager. And we pass in the admin that we just created. And make sure to import. So now go ahead and run the application. Making our way over to the browser, I have set up a couple of bookmarks. So home, login, and products. Let's go ahead and hit the login. And before we try admin, let's go ahead and try test. So previously in the properties file, we put test and test. However, doing this now overrides it. So when I click sign in, I now get bad credentials. So this time, Let's type in what we defined, admin and one, and it didn't work. So something weird happened. Let's go back to the console and see what happened. We get this error. There is no password encoder mapped for the ID null. So basically what this is telling us is we need to encode our password and not store it in plain text. So over in Postman, we're gonna add credentials in the same way we did in the previous video. Go to the authorization tab, click basic auth, and then add the username and password. And if you make the same request in Postman, you get a 401 unauthorized, and it throws the same error in the console. So let's define a new bean, public, password encoder, password encoder, and we're going to return a new bcrypt password encoder. We could have a long discussion on exactly what this is doing, but just know this is encrypting your password. So now we need to pass it in to our previous method, password encoder, encoder. And right here where we enter the password, we say encoder.encode, and then we pass in the raw password string, and then rerun our project. So now when we enter admin and one, we are logged in. But we get this weird error. Again, this is because we have defined nothing for the home route. But we are logged in, so if we go to the products endpoint, we will be able to see the products. And now that we've added encryption, if we look in Postman and add the credentials, we will get the list of products. Okay, that completes part two. One more baby step forward. 